this is a training session, so tutorial. So I'll try to keep the demos maximum with very little uh, theory. So stay with me. We'll see. I'll keep my talk in English, but I'll give you lots of Tamil examples. So it's easy and we'll reach a lot of people. So mastering prompt engineering, that's my topic. First, everybody has you. How many of you have used chat GPT? OK. So it's like uh, selling ice to the Eskimos, which is a very bad example. But then that's what I can think of immediately. So it's like that. But why should you learn prompt engineering? What is there to learn? We all use chat GPT. The earlier talk discussed about how do you build your own uh, GPT models? How do you fine tune them? What is that? I give a command, it works, right? Let's try something. OK, we go to chat GPT. We'll give it an example and see how it works. Let me say, I'm going to start with something best movie of the year, OK? Oh, one second. It's giving you some results here. What is the best movie of the year? And it's giving some. That's all is there to use chat GPT. You give a question or a prompt, and it gives you some results. So what is there to learn? Why should I be talking next one hour to you on how to use ChatGPT? The answer is very easy. We have Anything we have to learn properly before we can actually use it. So it's only as much as we are able to learn it, we can master it. That's why the, this topic is called as Mastering Prompt Engineering. When I was putting about this talk in Facebook a couple of days back, and I was searching a lot of talks online, everybody has done prompt engineering talk, prompt engineering in Tamil. So I went and searched, and I watched many of them after I prepared my talk. Yarme on the prompt engineering ka Tamil vartha solala, and the ella talk le me na paata dala, ella me English words na connect panta dik matto Tamil words dala. So, that's why we have a text in Tanglish. That's why we have a text in Tamil, but we have a little bit of a text in Tanglish. If we talk in Tamil, we have a little bit of a text in English. That's why I told you first day safe. If we talk in English, we have a lot of Tamil examples. How do we use it in Tamil? But if we look at one or two examples on YouTube, we have a little bit of a text in Tanglish. We have a little bit of a text in Tanglish. That's why we have a text in Tanglish. Torture chamber la poti nama la torture pandra mari erge. Anala apo Facebook la ora, I got a reply. Tamil la prompt engineering ena sollan. Ena kitterin da Tamil la rivela uli itte vadiva mai pe. Abdi na engineering ande itu vadiva mai pe. Ien, itu em model slide la soltra na soltra. Ina ora talk about ora forty five minutes ninge kete de. Ida endu arthi la umle kena puri cerka abdi ninge kerasi la choose panikla. Once you understand what is prompt engineering, uli itte vadiva mai pe. Ninge you can give your input to the input. That's why I have a choice to give you a choice. I have a choice in Tamil. Mani Mani is in my stage. He went to the stage and went to the stage. He went to the stage and went to the stage. He said, he went to the stage and went to the stage. He said, he passed it. He went to the Tamil research. A few slides. Let's understand what is this prompt. I'll start giving you more examples as we move on. But let's cover just two, three slides. Just bear with me for two, three slides. On what is prompt? What are the types of prompts? What are types of prompts? Prompt, for now, remember it to be a command that you are giving it to ChatGPT, Google Bard, Microsoft Copilot, or any of the Llama models they were talking about, etc. There were, there are four, there are many types of prompts, four prompts. I'll make it very, very simple. Zero shot prompt. These are actually meaning you don't give any example. Like I said, what is the best movie? I didn't give the any any context, nothing. Just asked a question. That is zero shot prompt. Okay, let's not go into why it is called short and all that. A few short prompts, which basically means I'll give you some samples. I'll I'll give you one joke, I'll tell you two jokes, and then third ask, give me a joke. Now that's few short prompts. Third one is chain of thought prompting. This is how you instruct somebody. You tell your child, first go to the supermarket. Look for the grocery aisle. In that, look for rice. In rice, look for inorganic products. In that, pick up this particular brand. That is one example. You are giving a chain of commands. Now, you are asking ChatGPT, you solve a problem. What is the best movie? Now, how did you go solving it? 
ask it to break the steps. Either you give the steps or you ask it to break. That is chain of thought prompts. Don't worry about this. Just, just to give you a flavor that there are different types of prompts. We'll see lots of examples as we move on. The last one is generated knowledge prompting. You basically ask it to generate some knowledge or you give generated knowledge. For example, I upload the entire Thirukural and say, or ask it to generate Thirukural and then give it as input and ask a question. So these are normally four types of prompts. Elements of a prompt. Again, just one more slide and we'll go into demos. Instruction, what is a prompt? It's like those command. You basically ask the LLM, like the earlier talk talked about, you were talking about inference, prediction, weight, result and all that earlier. Today with ChatGPT, one of the revolution it has done is, it has made it so easy, right of a chatbot, you are able to ask a question, you are able to have a conversation with it. Okay, it's so useful. One of the best ways, if you don't take anything from this talk, one of the best ways to use ChatGPT, use as your ideation engine. You want to do something, ask it for ideas. It is phenomenal. Or you do a presentation and give it to say, is this good? Am I having any bias? Or am I leaving something important? It is a superb tool if you want to use it. If you wanted to do your job yourself, then that's why Microsoft called it Microsoft Copilot. They didn't call it Pilot. You still have to drive it. It's only a Copilot. It's not going to take away your job. You still are in the driving seat. That's so useful. It's only instructions. Second, a prompt can also have context. You'll also see examples of this. Even before you say, what is the movie? The question that I asked, what is the best movie? Instead, I could have said, I want to watch a movie today that is playing in Chennai. I am... I like these kind of movies. Now give me a suggestion. You will find ChatGPT to be very, very effective. Rather than saying, what is the best movie? It's like uh, just grabbing somebody in the street and say, recommend me a best restaurant to eat. They're going to ask, do you want to eat non-vegetarian, vegetarian, which cuisine, and all that. So context is very, very important. So in a prompt, if you want to remember context, that's at least one thing you'll have to remember. Always give the context in a prompt. Last is input data, output, what type of output you want. Today, Google Bard, Google Gemini can actually output into a Google Sheet also. You can say, I want to know the GDPs of the large 10 countries. By year-wise, give me the GDP of these 10 countries, export this data to Google Sheets. It will automatically export it to Google Sheets, where you can start doing further customization. Microsoft Copilot also can do it. ChatGPT cannot do the export. It will give you a, a JavaScript file or an XML and you will have to copy paste it. It doesn't currently integrate, but then integration is on works. Last slide. What are the tips for prompt engineering? Again, these you don't need to remember. As I show you my examples, you'll start understanding. Be very clear. It is a machine after all. Even if you don't, if you don't give correct instructions to your assistant, he or she is not going to do a good job. So be as precise as possible. Use always delimiters. Don't say your question, your data, don't mingle all that. Put double quotes, triple quotes, triple hash. I generally use double hash or triple hash to distinguish between the data that I give and the question I do. Third is, some people have said, do not do not generate anything. That's not a good way of prompting. Always say, what do you want? And one interesting thing in chat GPT, at least in chat GPT, people have figured out, it's very useful if you say please and thanks. None of us would have thought, but if you say please, Chat GPT, can you please give me this output? It actually does a much better job. Any guesses why it does better? There's no me, there's no people there. Nobody has programmed it to say when you are here, please you do a good job. No. Any guesses? Anything? Anything goes. The answer is very simple. This is a cloud of data. You should see this is a graph. In uh, data analytics, we call it, kind of call it as a graph and uh, we kind of uh, group and classify data. So what happens is wherever there is good quality data, that those people who generated it or that data which has been referred, kind of nice words like please and thanks are very close. So the blog that has referenced good data has used the word please and thanks in its database. So uh, this is like... Nice people stay with nice people. Good people are with good people. Bad people are together with bad people. Kind of the same logic. So when you say please, the data, the system kind of goes to the data set, which has been used by people who use the word please. So that data set turns out to be good. Just And we are learning every day what kind of words actually work very well in uh, chat GPT. So please and thanks or 
tam vanakkam nandri whatever you want to use it actually kind of works you can try it out yourself and give the model time to think how do you do that we'll also see uh, basically you say break down the steps take your time to do take a this is also surprising there's a recent paper i read when you say take a breath and then answer this chat gpt does a good job there's no machine is not breathing but when you say take a breath take a breath and then answer it kind of works again the reason is very simple those data sets are with people who have produced good content when you good content comes with good health content and all that there people have said before you work your stress take a breath so kind of there is association if you think deep or even ask chat gpt it will say why are you good when you are take a deep breath it's going to answer that the last is experiment on the order when you ask questions if you are asking first question second question or kind of the data interchange it and see the results will vary okay the answers i have got in the screenshots i will show from what you will see live kind of changes that's the whole point of chat gpt there is no fixed answer it kind of that is why it's called generative ai it generates data it's not storing somewhere and bringing it last is fact check these systems hallucinate it's so always fact check there's a lot of examples i can give but that's the idea let's move on let's go into some examples okay i want to ask chat gpt to explain me a poem a kavitha okay mukavasi nara kavithagal enak at least puriyadu chat gpt irukadnala kavithai puriyalenaalum puriya soli kekkalam please say and i didn't i wanted to pick up the easiest poem that i could find this is from 11th standard tamil nadu government uh, textbook from this poem uh, thanks to mr kasi for allowing me to use this poem i've just taken it let's ask chat gpt explain this okay nothing fancy i'm just taking this poem and i'm going to ask chat gpt to explain one thing i'll do is i'll do this i'm doing triple hash but you can do uh, any delimiter just to differentiate the data and the and generally it kind of works better when you give the question and then the data again you can experiment okay very simple in the kavithaiye vilakkavum padikkamudiyillana na solren edugalil munpakkathil attayil veedugalil pinpakkathil adupam karayil kasi aanandan idhu da kavithai i am asking it to explain okay it's not going to go and try to explain this poem இந்த கவிதை விளக்குகிறது ஒரு ஆழ்ந்த அனுபவ அனுபவத்தை அளிக்கிறது காசி ஆனந்தனின் இந்த கவிதை மிக சுருக்கமானது ஆனால் அதில் பல அடுக்குகள் உள்ளன ஏடுகளில் முன்பக்கத்தில் அட்டையில் வீடுகளில் பின்பக்கத்தில் அடுப்பங்கரையில் சம் ஆஃப் யூ மைட் கெஸ்ட் தி கான்டெக்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் இது வந்து பெண் விடுதலை பற்றிய ஒரு கவிதை பட் அந்த பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சாட் ஜிபிடி அது இன்னும் கிட்ட வரல இட்ஸ் நாட் டச்சிங் பெண் விடுதலை and the reason is very simple it doesn't know the context textbook when if i pick it up it comes bold pen vidudalai kavidhaigal and then this kavidai comes so now let's give the same poem but with pen vidudalai as the context it then goes on to explain uh, this whole thing edugalil munpakkathil attigal ithavariyil kavidhaigal etc it just keeps on going we'll skip it we'll now give the context okay i'll do the same probably here it is a little better for you to read yeah so pen vidudalai patri endha kavidai vilakkavum that's all i'm doing i'm not changing anything drastically but hopefully you should see a different result now chat gpt is going to understand the context and hopefully kasi anandin indha kurigiya kavidai pen vidudalai in konathil விளக்கும் போது இது பெண்களின் வாழ்வில் உள்ள இரட்டை வேடங்கள் ஐ சப்போஸ் இரட்டை வேடங்களை நவ் இட் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆக்சுவலி கிவிங் யூ பெட்டர் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஃபர் கெட் தி ஆக்சுவல் யூ கேன் கோ அண்ட் ட்ரைட் அண்ட் சாட் ஜிபிடி ஒன் திங் டு நோட்டிஸ் ஐ எம் யூசிங் சாட் ஜிபிடி ஃபோர் விச் இஸ் தி பெய்ட் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் சாட் ஜிபிடி ஓகே சாட் ஜிபிடி த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஆல்சோ மோர் ஆர்லஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் தி சேம் பட் திஸ் இஸ் சாட் ஜிபிடி ஃபோர் விச் இஸ் அ பெய்ட் திங் you don't want to pay the paid version you can use microsoft bing uh, microsoft bing uh, copilot which is also on chat gpt4 the results will vary 
But more or less, today, whatever I'm showing, 99.99% should work with Microsoft Copilot, which is free. Okay, now it starts to go on, and it then in the Kavidai Pengal in Samugatil Ulla Irenda Mukia Pangale, it kind of gets the idea. Same prompt I just said, I gave it a bit of context. That's all I did. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's try a movie review because all of us, I write movie reviews. Okay, and I wanted to do a, I wrote a short thing in English about a movie review. Somebody said you should do a reel, Insta reel about movie reviews. So I said, let me do movie reviews in Tamil. So I wrote it in English. Now I wanted to be in Tamil. I wanted to be short. I write a blog, venkatrangan.com. I've written about 4,000 blog posts. I use ChatGPT to refine the language every time. So useful, whether it is Tamil or English. You should use ChatGPT for that purpose. If you ask it to write a movie review for yourself, there's no point. Everybody's chat GPT will write the same thing. You write a review, ask it to change it. The way I tell it, write it in the language I would have written. And then it starts to give you better results. Though that's what you will see as we move on in this example. Let's go. Let's take the, as I said, as I promised, let's do demos. Okay. So this is a quick review I've written. Pungal 2014 movie uh, releases. Quick Ayalan, Captain Miller. Mission chapter one, any Danush fan here, forgive me, I didn't like Captain Miller. Okay, it was, I felt like somebody were shooting at me thousand bullets all the time. Anyway, so no Danush fan or at least maybe in the YouTube reviews I'll be blasted for this. Anyway, I'm giving you some context at the bottom, just focus on that because that is the prompt engineering piece I want you to focus. You are an expert movie reviewer of Tamil movies. I've written this quick review. Can you improve? Please ensure each movie is just two lines and not more. Give it a good title. My brand is called Mango Idiots Included. Okay, this is the, I can give more prompt. We'll see how do we write more complex prompt. But I've given it more instructions. It actually works better if I even done this one, two, three, four, five. It will work much better. But let's skip that part. Let's take this and then let's move on. Let's try this and see what happens. I'm going to go to the same chat GPT, give this as the input, and then I'm going to copy paste the review. These are reviews I have written. And notice something, if you're smart, you would have noticed, I've also given it context. These are Pungal 2024 movie releases that got happened today, but it's not today, but that's okay. Okay, let's go here. And uh, as I said, this, Triple hash is just any delimiter. You can use triple quotes, triple brackets, double brackets, whatever, as long as you can notify chat GPT. This is a data section that you are giving. It should be fine. I just find this convenient because this is a command for commenting in most of the programming languages. Now it's, it's now starting to generate. It's now even given the title, Mango Idiots Quick Reviews Pungal 20 Tamil Cinema Roundup. If you notice, I didn't ask it to give it in Tamil yet. My prompt, if you see, was you are an expert, I've given this quick review, can you improve? That's what I'm asking ChatGPT to do. I'm not asking it to write. One more thing I could have done here. Base your facts, base your output only on the facts I have given. If you don't do that, ChatGPT will start hallucinating. It will say Captain Miller is a fantastic movie, which I haven't said. I've actually said Ailan is better. And uh, Vijay, Vijay, Arun Vijay's Mission Chapter 1 is a surprisingly was a good movie. Th those are my opinion. But if I don't do that, ChatGPT will say Captain Miller is a better movie, Ilon is a worse movie or something like that. Because it will take from all the other data. So I can also say base your results on the facts given by me. It kind of works better. So you get the idea. That's how you start doing prompt engineering. Let's go and see the output here. It's kind of given a much better language. I couldn't have written Ilon, a cosmic journey. If you compare my English, Ilon is a good watch as it is a fine attempt on aliens. That's the English I write. But it's able to write a better English. Shivakarthiya ventures boldly into the alien genre, bringing spectacular VFX. You get the idea. It kind of gets into a more better flowery languages. And I can also change it. I can say, don't write flowery languages. Use simple terms. Use the terms that is used in venkatrangan.com blog. So it kind of will try to do close to that language if you want it. Now that's not what we can do that, but I want to now do it in Tamil. And now I'll say, please translate this into Tamil. I wanted to actually say Tanglish, but that would be bad. <laughs> 
it actually does a good job which is the worrying part okay while it's working you notice i didn't ask it to give it as translate in tamil in first itself i said first improve it then do tamil this is also the chain of thought i am breaking the steps and this also you can change you can interchange and try translate to tamil and then you can say improve you will see which output is better so don't think there is only one way of doing it one thing sure nobody even the chat gpt builders open ai doesn't know why chat gpt works the way it works its an algorithm is understood very well the data is understood very well but once you do deep neural network and these networks are like billions of parameters when they happen why they output what they output nobody knows it they are people are still researching on it so please experiment if you want to be a master in chat gpt or any of these generative ai please experiment there is no right way or wrong way of doing it one hack people have found out if you kind of give instructions that you commonly find in textbooks these generative ai kind of work better because they have been trained in large volumes of textbooks across the world for whatever reasons so now if you see it's actually giving me a better hopefully better let me read it i don't know what's going to come mango idiots virayu vimarsanangal virayu vimarsanangal so that's a little problem pongal 24 tamil cinema round up oru vinveli payanam ayalan oru vinveli payanam sivakarthigen vinveli janaril tunichalaga pudhiya moyachi arpudam arpudamana vfx matrum siddharthin kavarchigaramana kural vaalkaikku வாழ்க்கைக்கு வருகிறது கதையில் புதுமை இல்லாத போதிலும் காட்சி அசைவு ஈடு இணையற்றது அண்ட் இட் கோஸ் ஆன் இட்ஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஓகே பட் இஃப் யூ ட்ரை டூ டி டூ த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் வித் சம் ப்ராம் சேஞ்சிங் யூ வில் ஸ்டார்ட் கெட்டிங் பெட்டர் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் ஐ கேன் ஆக்சுவலி ஸ்டார்ட் கிவிங் எ ப்ராம் நவ் ப்ளீஸ் ரிஃபைன் யுவர் லாங்குவேஜ் ஸ்டார்ட் யூசிங் த லாங்குவேஜ் தட் யூ ஆல்ரெடி சீன் இன் வெங்கடகன் டாட் காம் ஆர் லைக் இன் விக் அண்ட் ஆர் ஈவன் கிவ் அ சாம்பிள் தட் யூ ரிட்டன் இஃப் யூ சேட் ஒன்லி டேக் திஸ் ஐலான் அண்ட் ரீரைட் இட் கிவ் இட் அஸ் அ சாம்பிள் and then ask it to rewrite captain miller and mission uh, chapter 1 it'll actually do a much better job so prompt engineering is this think of you discovering how the system kind of works slowly trying out various things okay so we have finished that part let's try um, and one more thing about these chat gpt models there are also gpt4 and other are called multi model uh, model multi model models what do they actually mean is it can understand images pictures videos text so you can also give a in image and ask it to describe it or ask it to generate an image so we'll see some examples of it there is also you can do prompt engineering what i will do is i'll pick up a a sample this is a meme or a joke help i'm stranded on a desert island on the first look you would have got it what is the joke here okay if you are like me you didn't get the joke we, let's ask chat gpt what is the joke here okay i'm going to give this input it's an image input i'm going to ask it now describe this what is so funny here okay i'll wait for the answer to come the humor in this image arises from a play on words and comical situation depicted the man is saying help i'm stranded on a desert island which is a pun on the phrase desert island typically used to describe a remote and uninhabited tropical island instead of being stranded on a desert island d e s c r t the man is literally sitting on an island made of desert d e s s e r t the one we have after our meal Uh, with the sweets or ice creams or gulab jamuns and for some reason vanilla ice cream combination with features resembling a cake topped with a large cherry indicating the island is a giant desert so it's able to understand and if you notice it's actually very interesting it is able to understand the images it is also able to read the text there it will also kind of to a large extent works on even tamil uh, jokes most often the jokes that come in tamil magazines we can't even understand it so if you give it here probably the system will understand some of the where it is actually really useful the other day i was reading new york times and it gave a image of a con- of something which it said is racially offensive there was one photograph and it said this is this was racially offensive so people got wild about it i couldn't understand it because i don't know the context i'm not an american i though i visited i don't know the context why it is racially offensive i don't know 
So I gave the input to ChatGPT and said, why is this offensive? It was able to give me history up to American Civil War and explain what is the context there. And this is a question you can't ask anybody. To say, why is this offensive? We can change it to caste, religion, or whatever. Today's world, we want to be very careful, right? When you write anything, you can actually give it to ChatGPT and say, am I offensive? Am I offensive to women? Am I offensive to a particular caste? Am I offensive to a particular religion, a faith, a region? Whatever, you can ask all that, and the system is going to tell you. And that gives the context. What are you trying to be achieving here? What do you want it to be doing? Of course, without saying their corollary also is true. These tools are a two-edged knife. You can ask, you can ensure you are not offensive. At the same time, you can also use the systems to be offensive by design. So let's not go there. Let's let's be civil and leave it there. Okay, let's move on. Now, this is a very interesting example. Let's also use ChatGPT for education. Okay. Most of the time in our textbooks, we only have very limited information and we find it very difficult to remember. Now, one of the things, a lot of teachers are worried about chat GPT, students using it for cheating, plagiarism and all that. Plagiarism has always been there. We have seen three idiots movie or the book. If we can have somebody write exams, attend college, everything is possible in today's world. To cheat, you don't need chat GPT. To cheat, we have cheated by age old mechanisms also. So just because it's not like chat GPT and uh, technology actually invented cheating. That's not right. But these tools make it easy, but they also are useful for you to effectively learn. Let me give you a very simple example. I've picked up simple examples today. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let me show you the image first. Okay. So this is again, I've taken it from the Tamil Nadu government textbook. There's nothing fancy, you don't need a word. It's a chart of various base units, uh, SI base units. Length, length is meter, mass is kilogram, time is second. We have all learned it in our schools. But how do you remember this? First time you're reading it. Okay, it's very difficult. Length, length is at kilogram, mass is at second. I want to have a poem, a song to remember this, to memorize this. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do this for me. Very simple example. But it can be very effective if you can imagine and be creative. Now I'm going to give it a prompt. Okay, I've written the prompt so I don't waste your time. So I've also given it some context if you see. I'm not saying now here is a textbook, write a song for me. I actually gave it a couple of instructions. This is a text from class 11 actually, not class one class 11 physics textbook there are five units to remember for each quantity can you generate song for me to remember this easily in one verse okay can you have each line for a quantity and a unit okay let's stop there and ask this question now you see i'm i'm trying to take examples which are not so commonly you would have seen chat gpt being used for okay but here it actually does a very good job Okay, meter measures light, swift flight, and vacuum shines so bright. Meter measures light, measures light. Kilogram, the platinum mass. Second ticks with celsium beads. Ampere flows where conductors lie. Kevin, Kelvin scales the heat, pure form, and so on. You can ask it to generate shorter. It'll actually, let's ask it to generate something shorter. I'm saying generate something shorter, four words per line, and let's see what it does. Meter lights path precise. Kilogram mass standard, guys. Second Celsius beats a line, not so great. It's kind of okay. Let's say now translate this to Tamil. It's, I'll show you a better output that I got earlier. Again, if you see, I'm not saying at first itself give it in Tamil. I'm actually breaking it down, fine tuning it. And then when I'm satisfied with it, I'm actually say, think the Tamil output is probably better. Meter olein padai, kilogram mass kolgai. It's not, it's actually using mass in a, in a where a meaning la poidam. But anyway, nodi CCM to dip, ampere minno tachinam, Kelvin weapon nilai nirmai. It's kind of okay. You can play around a bit more, you'll get better output. Okay, let's uh, see if, what is the output I got. 
Actually, I don't have that screenshot. Uh, I actually got a better results. Yeah. Anyway, you can keep trying it out. So textbook, we'll also see some more textbook examples. But uh, before then, why should you learn this more? Chat GPT, prompt engineering, and all that. And this is a plug for my book also. This is one of my books that I wrote, uh, my book in Tamil now, on cell phones and laptops and how to do something. So one of the popular articles in that book was Google Theda Therima. When I said this, my wife immediately said, what is that? Everybody knows how to use Google. But that turned out to be the popular uh, article. So we'll skip that. Now we'll move on. I'll come back to the examples a little later. Some more examples of um, textbooks I'll come later. Some more things about pro ineffective prompts and pro effective prompts. Ineffective prompts. Instead of asking, you can actually say, Kanini Aribi Yalil, Todaka Nilayil, Padikya Tamaril Siranda Puttangal Evai. You can reframe this much better also. What you're actually seeing is I'm giving it context. Who is this for? Whenever I've written movie reviews, I'll show you that prompt a little later. I actually say, I'm a blog reviewer. I have a domain called Movie Mango Idiots. I've been writing this blog for many years. This is what I want to achieve. And then it actually does a much better job. Uh, last week, I wanted to write a short email to a new prospective client in America. I gave ChatGPT the email I wrote and said, can you come up with a small uh, greeting that is appropriate to the US in this particular time? And this is the customer to whom I'm writing. And I gave some background about them. And then ChatGPT wrote some three very beautiful lines, which I couldn't have written. But then I gave it all this context. Who's the customer? What I wanted to do? Something contextually greeting at that particular point. It's able to do all that. Rather than say, just translate this like I did, I could have said, Artificial intelligence is transforming industries. I could have even said, translate it to something that a seventh standard student can understand. It'll actually do a much better job. Give it more context. Give it more clear instructions. Instead of saying, I can actually say, I can actually say, Instead of that, I can say, Tamil Nadu Pugal Petra Unavu Vagagalai Virivaga Kuruvam. Pugal Petra Saiva Unavu Vagagalai Virivaga Kuruvam. I can say that. Thagaval Kudu. Instead of that, I can say, Vivasayatil A Pine Pada Kuritthi Tamil Vivarikram. You get the idea. Give it as much as context as possible. What are some more good examples of prompts? Some more good examples. Pungal Vira, Pungal Vira Vin Bodhi Tamil Nadu Nadai Perum Parambari Nigarugal Evai. I'm, I'm saying it very clearly. Now I can say, Parambari Nigarugal Evai it's going to give you more precise examples. Nutranda Kalamaka, Tamil Pine Padatum, Pudumurigal Silvatri Kurga Sanga Ilekatil Kana Padam Yerke, Malagal, Nadigal, Kadal, Kardigal, Palaywanangal, Matram Vesa, and Elangal Portravatri, Viverikro. I could have just stopped Sanga Ilekatil Kana Padam Yerke, Nelangalai, Viverikro, but I instead said those five. It actually gives you a much better results. And those of you could have also guessed these prompts. I asked ChatGPT to generate these prompts. That's also a generative way of doing things. I said, can you generate some five examples that I can show to an audience of giving good examples in ChatGPT? It's able to do this. OK, we'll come. Oh, yeah, this is the song. Let me. This is the output I got earlier. You'll also notice the Tamil song we got for the physics textbook was very different from the answer I got earlier. This is actually nice. Meteril neelam alaviduvom, kilogram edayai kanbom, nodigalil kalam padivom, ampere minnotam taruvom, kelvinil veppam alaviduvom, minnum minnum essai vin mine. It's actually a very good uh, uh, poem. Definitely in thousand years I couldn't have written something like this. But this took me some prompts. I have the whole history. If you're interested, we can go through that, how we got this result. Students, if they're able to use this as a learning tool, see the effectiveness. No teacher can do this to remember. It's so useful in our inorganic chemistry for all your formulas, if I can remember like this. And ChatGPT can be your tutor next to you. But you have to have the patience and the interest to ask it. I, there is also interesting things you can do. You can give it and say, from which your favorite character how do you do it? It's actually giving very interesting results. You should play around with this. If you like, um, what's the uh, universe, what um, Marvel universe, 
one of the characters you can actually say how they would have handled this particular problem. You should try it out. It actually gives very interesting solutions. How will the Star Trek Picard captain handle this situation, your office politics? It actually comes up with really wonderful answers. In the image generation, I once tried Mahatma Gandhi to be sitting in, a, in the cockpit of a Star, Star Wars plane. It was really fun seeing the old man and all the captain jacket and all that. But now with all the guardrails, if I try it and bing, it says, no, we can't do this. You are trying something that is blocked. So that's where open source comes into savior, but that's for a different discussion. Okay, so let's try, we saw physics example. Let's go into accounting example. Okay, so I've got here one paragraph in accounting. Objectives of accounting following are the objectives to keep a systematic record, etc., etc. Okay, now I'm going to say this is a lesson from accounting. Please explain this one with one example for each that is easier to grasp for students. I'm using ChatGPT as a learning tool. Just continuing on the same trend. Okay. I'm going to give a chapter from the textbook of accounting, objectives of accounting. Probably that's what they will ask in exams. Okay. Now what I'm asking is this, for these each objectives, give me an example so that I can learn it better. It's actually going to give a very interesting, and you can also start playing next. Can you give a story for each of these examples? It actually generates very interesting stories. You will remember. And your favorite characters, you can actually say, now do the story with this. I actually asked you to generate a story script for a new Rajnikanth movie. It's not very difficult, but then it actually was able to come up with a much better script than many of the script writers we have got now. It's able to give me each example to provide information to various stakeholders. Example, it says shareholders might want to know the business is performing, etc. It's able to give you the examples for that. Let's go into one more example. Solve this problem and then I want the answers in Tamil. So what is that I want to solve? This is a chart again from the textbook. Some of the para values are missing. So it's able to show assets, liabilities, capital. Okay, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital from accounting and some of the numbers are missing. Find the missing one. So I'm going to give this as the input and ask ChatGPT to work out the answer. You should try for max problems. It actually does a very interesting uh, thing. Again, if you notice these are, it's able to understand images because these are multimodal models. Now it's analyzing, it's, it's going to take some time and then it's going to come with the answers. And I'm also asking it to explain the answers in Tamil. So if a Tamil medium student is having this book, he wants to learn, ChatGPT can be a very effective tool for he or she to learn it. Let's wait a bit more to get the answers. And it can be any problems. And most of the time, if you're picking it up from textbook, the accuracy of ChatGPT is likely to be very good. And uh, you can try it as many times as you want, or you can go to Google Bard and try and compare. All that you can play around. Kirkanda Pulikalik Badalikum Ray Tamil Vilakum, Kanakil or Mukimana Vidya Gulade, Sotukal in Bad, Kadangal plus Muladanam. Ide Kundanam Kirudam Mudivilai Kanakitom, Sotukal Mupadairam, Kadangal Irodairam, Muladanam Patairam, Vida Yapri Varikrade. Sotukal minus Kadangal is equal to Muladanam. And it goes on to solve the problem for you. This was unthinkable few years back with the technology we have. Now we can do. It's also able to explain to you in Tamil. Okay. Let's try this. This is one example I'm really, I like to show you. What I've done is, I've generated, I've asked ChatGPT to generate the first 20 Thirukurals. If you see here, there are 20 Thirukurals. I use ChatGPT to generate them. So, and I asked you to give an explanation in English. So, there is each kural followed by the explanation. I've got 20 kurals. And what I'm going to ask it is, I'm going to ask it to generate a new kural for eating less. If you eat more, you are going to be obese. So, eat less. So, I want to write a kural as if Thiruvallur has written the kural. So, I've given it 20 kural examples. I can give it all the 1300 uh, Kurals also if I want to, but I have not done that. 
I've just taken 20 as an example. I've given more detailed example. I ex uh, prompt the Tirukural authored by Tamil poet, etc. I've explained what is Tirukural. I've said above are the first 20 kurals with their translations. Now please write one new poem in Tamil. In the above style, describing everyone should watch what they are eating and eat limited for maintaining a good health. Okay. So again, let me do the same thing. I'll copy paste the instruction first, the prompt. And then I'll give the 20 Tirukurals. If you, can, you could have also guessed it now, these can be done programmatically as well. There are APIs for chat GPT. So from a Python program, you can do this. You can get inputs from your user. You can take your data and give it. You can also give examples. These are the question papers set by my professor. What is the likeliest question paper they are going to set in the next exam? exam. You don't use it for cheating, of course, but you can use it for preparation. Okay, now chat GPT is going to generate a Tirukural for me. I don't know what is the answer. Yesterday it actually kind of gave a good result. Unnum unave udalwalvin moolam alavodu unbade arogya tiram noi tavirka nunya. This is not Tirukural. It keeps on writing big lines. Let me see what is the answer I have got earlier. A bit more, bit more uh, prompt. I then kept on saying, okay, give it to me in two lines. Go back to the style and all that. And it's able to give me this. Unave uirin kavalan. Unave uirin kavalan. Adive nalam pere nadukkam kolludal. Kind of a little better. Sounds like kural. Though probably nadukkam may not be the best word there. But it's able to get closer to that. Unave uirin. And it's also able to give me the explanation. Food is the guardian of life indeed. Moderation in it leads to wellness. I don't know why he said it. But you get the idea. You give it more examples and ask it to generate, it actually kind of does a much better job. And ChatGPT is not always very good. There are also problems with ChatGPT. Now, I gave this example of uh, this book, our dictionary. Ask it to explain. Puttakam Undre Edika Moyachikar, Irivarum Parambri India Ada Gale and Indri Kirargal, Parambri India Ada and Indri Kirargal, Matraver Velli Nira Satim, Padupunira Vestium and Indir Kirar, Alamari Galil, Palver Vanangalil Puttakam Adika Patilana, Matram Great Lift Codition and Repair and Kudya Puttakamundra, Tilivaga Katikirade, etc. But you already know a lot of mistakes. They are not wearing Vesti or even probably the colour also is not right of the uh, what they are wearing. Gadigaram Katum Nera Vana. That answer is also wrong. Actually, the time it shows is 4.35 or something like that. So it also gets it wrong. So be aware of that. We'll move on. We'll come to the last part. Again, I said multi-model. So I'll ask it to generate music. Okay. So let's try that. I'll show you the output, I'll show you the prompt, I'll show you the output because it's going to take a bit of time to do this generation. Okay, so this is the prompt I'm using. India, India Tamil cinema will Ilayraja Baniyil Kalai Purudil Paravaygal Oliyai Kundu Veenai Isayamikyo. I used the chat GPT plugin and that doesn't understand Veenai so keep that in mind. And I said, these are two plugins you've got to use. And I gave this prompt. I'll give you the output of the music that it gave. So the way I do that is in ChatGPT, I go to this plugin section. And I choose the plugin, music plugin. I'm not going to do that here. It's going to take a bit of time. It's not going to work now. But that's how you do it. But it works in the ChatGPT paid version. I'll give you the output of the song that it kind of generated for me. Yes. Sorry? Oh, screen hasn't changed. Thanks. So this is the prompt I showed. Okay. So let me go to the output, play you the output. It generates the ABC notation if you understand it, but let's go to the song. One 
बन सके And if it's able to generate a music, whether it is morning melody, Ilaira Jha style. It's Ilai Raja style or not, leave that aside. A bit more prompt, I can actually get it to be doing a much better job. But that's the idea. This is a very effective tool. This also I'll show you the output. Summarize video. It's actually very effective. Rather than you learning, watching a complete YouTube video, you can actually give it to ChatGPT and say, this is the video, can you summarize this video for me? It actually is able to throw you results very fast, very effectively. Let's move on to generate video, or let me see if I can show you the summarize video. If I have an example here. No, let me skip that. Generate video, I asked ChatGPT to generate a video for me. Again, using the plugin, and this is the output. I asked you to generate an elephant based video that I can use for real. Task one, interrupted by a ring a ding. Task two, a missing wrench throws a spanner in the works. Quiet time with a book, nope, friends barge in. It's a whirlwind, a tornado, a circus of elephants. But what's this at the end? A shrug, a smile, acceptance. Nope, the chaos continues. You get the idea. So I can use it to summarize video, give a YouTube URL, ask it to summarize. I can ask it to generate a new video. And uh, this one I like to demo last. I have developed a custom GPT for my mango ideas, all the blog reviews I've written. I told GPT, uh, chat GPT, build a custom GPT for me with all the blog reviews I've written. And now you be an expert movie recommender based on the reviews I've already written. So that is, it's going to show me uh, my own custom GPT model. Yep. Mango ideas bot. This is a bot I have built. I didn't write any programming. I'll show you how, how to do this. I went to chat GPT and said, create a new custom GPT for me. I gave it some instructions. I'll read out, it's not very clear for you, but yeah, this is the instruction I gave. If you read, I said, this is the title of the bot. It's called Mango Idiots. What is the overview for the blog? You are a savvy, quick-witted chatbot specializing in movies. You have written lots of movies from this URL starting from 2004. And I said strict source utterance. I said please only pick up the facts from my movie blog. You don't pick up the facts from yourself. Regular updates. You regularly update this particular chat GPT. And style and tone. As Mango Idiots, your communication style should be engaging, witty and full of personality. Maintain a conversational human-like tone. It should reflect a deep understanding, enthusiasm of cinema. I can keep on going further. But I gave all these instructions. And then I gave it some examples also, conversation starters, I need a good laugh, any Hollywood movies, etc. Now this is what I've done, let me try this. I need a good laugh, any Hollywood comedy movies that you recommend. Now this is a kind of a customized chat GPT version based on the instruction I just gave. It's not correct, but I can keep refining this instruction more and more. One thing where it is going to fail is if I asked about a new movie, which I haven't done a review, it kind of falls short. But from those reviews I've already written, it's able to give beautiful results. I can say compare the comedy movie with the tragic tragedy movie, which Mango Idiots rated to be best. It's able to do it for me. I can ask it to generate it as a table. It's able to do it. Okay, what it's given, I'm sorry, but I can't browse the web uh, to find, in this case, it's not working. Let's go back and try it once more. This is a new feature in um, custom GPDs are fresh in chat GPDs. So it's taking some time, but let's try something else. What are the top movies, top three movies that you will recommend? Currently the system is not working. Otherwise it should have been able to go to the internet pick up the movies, but it's able to make some recommendations. Shashank Redemption, I've reviewed this movie, Anbe Sivam, Animali, these are three movies. Now I can say, 
within these three movies, which one do you recommend? And so on and so forth. I can keep start having a conversion. But it's going to, it's going to base the facts based on the reviews I've already written. So custom GPT. Enterprises, it will be so useful. You can give your own textbook, for example, and ask it to be, this is the fact, base the facts on this. Now, can you question? Now, that particular custom GPT will be your expert tutor on that subject. We earlier talk also talked about Llama 2. Uh, if you are interested in running GPT models in your local machine, this is one tool I found out to be super easy in your Windows machine itself, as long as you have a, a GPT, NVIDIA GPT, you can install this. It's called LM Studio. You can, instead of going to Hugging Face, download all the models in Python, installing it. Anybody can just run this LM Studio for free, pick up any of these models which is out there on the internet and run it locally. So you don't need to go to chat GPT, but these models effectiveness are a couple of generations away from uh, chat GPT. So you search for a particular model and you download and install. I've done, install is just a clicker button. So I'm going to use Llama 2 chat locally. In this case, it's going to run locally in my machine and give the answer. So this is one way of using locally these models. Okay, let's just try it once more. Yes, it's loading. Now this is 7 billion, 7B in this case indicates 7 billion model, whereas ChatGPT4 is like 100, 150 billion parameters. So that's why ChatGPT4 is more efficient than these open source models. To run larger models, you need that kind of memory in your GPU, which we normally don't have. One of the trends that is also now coming is people are figuring out, like Microsoft Pi 2, PHI 2, Phi 2, they're figuring out smaller models are also effective. You don't need a large model also. So smaller models you can run on your local machine, like the example in the previous talk was giving about healthcare. You can have a model that is customized only for healthcare that can fit on your machine. So you don't need to go to the uh, internet. So this I can load it locally and then try. Lastly, I wanted to have a thank you slide. I wanted ChatGPT Dali to generate an image for me. And this is what it generated. I said I wanted a folded hand a way of thanking an audience after I give my prompt engineering talk. And this is what it generated. So thank you so much.